Hi, I'm Vanessa Weisbrod from Delight Gluten-Free Magazine. Our publication has grown leaps and bounds over the last five years, and we're so excited to let you know that we're now sold globally. In addition to being on newsstands in the United States and Canada, you can also find the pages of Delight on newsstands in Greece, Finland, Germany, Spain, Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Belgium, the United Kingdom, South Africa, New Zealand, Guam, India, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. So no matter where you are in the world, you can get access to the great tasting recipes of Delight Gluten-Free Magazine. Welcome to Delight Gluten-Free Eats. I'm Vanessa Weisbord, Executive Editor of Delight Gluten-Free Magazine, and I'm so excited to welcome you to our test kitchen. My friend Ave is here today to learn how to make an amazing gluten-free main dish. So we're making one of my favorite things right now, and this is a honey barbecue chicken pizza. Wait a second. Pizza? Pizza. Gluten-free that, that, pizza. That, that's that's going to be awesome. Yes. So it's super, super easy. I'm not one of those people who likes to wait for my dough to rise. You know, I hate having to add the yeast and the warm water and then let it sit and cover it and then punch it down and then let it rise and then roll it out and then let it rise again. It's too much work for me. Hello. Delivery. <laughs> Delivery. Exactly. But you can't get gluten free usually. No, it's very difficult. So I have a very simple recipe. Okay. We're going to start with some tapioca flour, which mm -hmm. is a really wonderful textured gluten free flour. It's get, it makes this really great crusty crust on it, but inside it's going to be really soft and cheesy. Mm. So go ahead and put that flour right into the mixer. Okay. Oh look, that dust Blew of off. smoke I created. Yeah, great job, Abba. <laughs> Maybe we'll scoot it just a hair closer to you. Um, some Parmesan cheese. Okay, so we're putting cheese in the actual crust. In the actual crust. Mm. It's going to be like a cheesy bread type of crust. I love that. Two eggs. No, I just drink these. <laughs> you it's can drink them yeah, okay. in a martini glass, sure. Or we could put them in here. Put them into the okay. dough. I like buying my eggs in martini glasses instead of in egg cartons. Makes them much more beautiful. Yeah. Some uh, canola oil. Okay. You could use vegetable oil or olive oil as well. Okay, so a little bit of oil. And a quarter cup of water. I'm good at this. You're okay. so good at this. You're going to lock your mixer down. Okay. Bring it down. Don't forget to lock it. Lock well, yeah. And I mean, last time I flooded your kitchen with uh, <laughs> You eggs. were great. Yeah. And mix it at low or medium. Um, start off low so it doesn't... Start off low so it doesn't all fly out at you, and then you can turn it up as it starts to mix together. Now that's going to pull together into a beautiful ball of dough, and that's how you'll know that it's ready to go ahead and roll out our crust. So when it actually becomes a ball. Now, if I tilted this thing, can they see what's inside? Probably. Okay. I don't think they're designed to work this way, but... <laughs> well, now we know that it works that way. We are trained professionals. Do not try <laughs> tilting your mixer at home. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's becoming, um, I was going to say ball. clumpy, but a dough ball. And it will pull together into just a beautiful clump in a second. Now, there's a little bit of stuff at the bottom. Is that okay? It's going to pick it up. Okay. Can I make it go faster? You can make it go faster. <laughs> Why do men always like the mixer to go like super fast? It's cars, mixers. <laughs> we like to think, see things blow up, but that's not good for cooking shows. We don't want to blow up any pizza dough, so that's totally done now. Aww. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so I have a nice big clump. So you can unlock it and take out your dough and just take that whole thing off. This is where, like, you know, <laughs> I stand back. Well, first you can take this off to make okay. more room. And then... Did I break it? Well, it's not usually this hard to undo. There we go. Uh, there we go. <laughs> and then you can pour it onto the tray. Okay. Get the other ball out of there. So now you get to actually play with the dough. Now, wet hands? Not wet hands. We're going to grab just a little bit of some olive oil based. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a canola based nonstick spray. So I'm going to spray your hands. And you can just take this ball and start pressing it out until it forms. So I don't need, even need a. Uh, you don't need a rolling pin. No. This is. That would be too much like, effort. Now, this is something I think would be fun to do with kids. Absolutely. It's a great task for kids. This dough is so pliable. See, it's pulling apart there, but you know what? Just pinch it back together. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It can look beautiful. Oh, I'm sure I could find a wrong way to do this. <laughs> you really can't. <laughs> is this the most fun you've had all week? 
This is. I get to play in oil and uh, dough and... Now you have two boys, right? Yes. Do they like to cook with you? Yes, they do actually. I've been teaching them to cook ever since they were like uh, old enough to see over the counter. That is awesome. Because that's how you survive as a bachelor. And uh, n a woman likes nothing more than a man who cooks. Th that is so true. We're still working on my husband knowing the difference between cilantro and parsley, but, but he's working on it, so. Uh, we have a label maker for that, <laughs> and it works really well. But I label the actual, not the can that jar they're in, but the actual. Uh, parsley and cilantro don't come in a jar, Abba. They're fresh herbs. Nothing is fresh. <laughs> I guess you can buy them well, fresh. Well, actually, we label the actual herb. There's oh. no jar, it just sticks to it, but. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it, it, it's tougher to cook with. Is that good, or do I need to fix all these little um, divots and holes? So I like to push together the holes. You totally don't have to. My husband actually made a pizza using this dough the other night, and he didn't, and it came out just fine. Can I use my fist? You totally can, but I'm like a perfectionist when but it see, comes no, to But see, no, let me ask a question. I'm doing something really interesting. You have thinner and thicker stuff. Is that going to make it better or you worse? Would, in an ideal world, you would have an all-even oh, layer so it's of gonna crust. Oh, so it's going to make it worse. Okay. <laughs> but again, this dough is like really versatile and really pliable, so now, it, you, it's not going to mess it up. Well, you wouldn't toss and spin this, right? But you would not toss and spin this, no. It, it doesn't can have... Just... So you, you can spin it like that totally. So gluten is the protein that's responsible for making dough elastic. So okay. when you see them spinning dough in a pizza restaurant, it's because it's very, very elastic and filled with gluten. Gluten-free flours don't get that same elasticity, so you can't be tossing your pizza all over the place. Ah, so then we know that they're faking it if they're saying it's gluten-free. Exactly. Perfect. So now the easy part. We're going to put some honey barbecue sauce on. So we're not using a tomato sauce. We're using barbecue sauce. We're using sauce. barbecue sauce. Now, you know, in the restaurants, I see them, they kind of spin it in, or they spin it out, and then they spread it. That as is opposed beautiful. As opposed to glopping it in the middle. Beautiful, Abba. And if I spin this, we can hypnotize people. <laughs> totally. Okay. Here's your spatula to spread it on out. Oh, no fingers now? Well, you could use your fingers. I do want to point but out that if you have your children help you do this, make sure they wash their hands before you spray yes, them with definitely. oil. Definitely. <laughs> That's and a then very they lick their fingers point. and make them wash their hands. And now, yes. is well, how much did we use? I mean, this looks like you know. It's about a half a cup. Half a cup. We don't want to use too much because it would overpower. Yeah, and you know, this the topping part of making a pizza is really up to whomever's making the pizza. This is, this is how I like it, but you can really do it to however you do. Um, I like a lot of cheese on my pizza, so I always put extra. Um, so yeah, just go cheese ahead. Cheese is next. So I like to put a, just a little bit of cheese, so put maybe just like a handful just to sprinkle it around. So we'll do layers. Yes, layer it so that there's something to hold the toppings on. I don't like when the toppings fall off when you cut it. So that's pretty sneaky. It's a yeah. Layer. There we go. That's uh, enough That's uh, cheese glue. Yeah. That's a lot of onions. Are we going to use put, all those onions? Put to your liking. To my liking. Yes. So this okay. is just a pre-cooked rotisserie chicken that I got at the grocery store. You can actually get these at Costco for $4.99. I buy one almost every week, have it in the house to make with pastas, eat by itself, make chicken salad, put on pizza. There's so many things that you can do with a rotisserie chicken. And for $4.99, you can't even buy a whole chicken and cook it yourself for that. Now, so. I have heard that some rotisserie chickens are not gluten-free. There are, in a very, very small percentage of cases, maybe a spice that they put on them. But for the mainstream grocery stores, places like Costco, it's just a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic. Um, so very, very simple uh, seasonings on them. But they can always check the label or check ask the label, at the deli. Ask at the deli, just make sure. So then sprinkle just a few onions on there. You don't have to use all of those. Or we could do it on one half for those people who are... Absolutely. You know, for date night, you may not want as many onions. <laughs> totally um, true. For date nights, you want to go bad, you can use a lot of onions. <laughs> oh, Abba. Ha, ha, ha. All okay. right. And then put the rest of your cheese on there. And we'll top it off with just a little bit of chopped parsley. Now, doesn't that normally color. come in a can? No, parsley no. definitely does not come in a can. Everything comes in a can. No. When I was a child. Maybe when you were a child, but not here. We like fresh ingredients. Okay, fresh is better and... Fresh is way better. Your parsley. And as soon as you get that parsley on there. And what does parsley actually do other than give you something to pick off the pizza? Flavor, it's an herb. Okay. It's a very mild herb. And it gives color. Color. Presentation. Beautiful color. Now, it looks like I didn't spread it so that there's some in the middle. <laughs> 
It's OK. OK. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. Have to be perfect. Okay. And now we can eat it, right? <laughs> no, now we have to bake it. So the oven is preheated to 375 degrees. So we're just going to go ahead and pop this in for 20 minutes, and then it'll be ready. 20 minutes, 375? 20 minutes at 375. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. And now we wait 20 minutes, and we'll have... Uh, barbecue chicken pizza. Abba's barbecue chicken pizza. That's right. Two thousand years later.